Hey everyone, I'm Jay, and uh, I'm slowly crawling my way out of my uh, abyss that is my creative slump. So uh, I'm trying to get back into things some more, and I am very happy to say that I have received the Unleashed Solid Kit for the Long Shot. Um, this is a <coughs> excuse me a starter kit for uh, the Zombie Strike Long Shot, but basically the internals are exactly the same as the original long shot and um, so yeah so this is going to go inside my mag shot which I have right here and um, it the paint job is held up on this incredibly well I haven't used it all that much because it didn't have really the power that it needed but now it's about to so let's go right to installing this thing and then I'll do a proper review of it um, first so let's just take a look at what's in this box it's a very small box um, we have our mainspring, which says on the box that it's five kilograms, but compressing this, it feels way more like eight. I know it's not ten, because ten is damn near impossible for me to compress. Um, so I'm going to assume that they actually sent me an eight kilogram spring. Um, I'm hoping that's the case, because I love eight kilogram springs. They're the best. All right, also we have two orange Modwork stickers in here, along with... Um, Let's see, we have our trigger catch. It's very sturdy. And we have our spring retention cap, which is massively bulky and very sturdy. It's got a tiny bit of flex to it, though, which is actually kind of good. Um, what I've noticed with the long shots is the retention caps will, uh, if you over tighten the screws, they'll crack right along this part right here that's at least what I've seen you'll also start to get stress marks along this area so hopefully they've designed it so that it can handle higher spring loads and not give out and also coming with that are two double strength uh, trigger catch springs so what you need to do now is take apart your blaster which I will do off camera because uh, taking apart this thing is a pain in the butt and uh, I don't want you guys to have to waste your time watching me do that so yeah uh, let's we'll dive down and take a look at this once I get it apart. All right, guys. So once you get everything apart, um, this is what the inside of your long shot should look like, or something like this. I apologize um, if it's hard to see things, um, mostly because all my components are black and my the internal of my shell is painted black as well. So uh, yeah, it does make things difficult. So first thing you want to do is remove your stock trigger catch, and I have doubled up on the springs. I have no idea what springs those are or where they're from. But they worked, and that's the important thing. And we're going to grab our smaller components and bring them over here, just so they're available. Um, and let's just compare these for a second. Um, they look almost completely identical, yeah. Um, the one main difference I can see right away is that this is like a straight angle as opposed to a curve. I don't know if you can see that against like the wood I'm trying to like figure out how to best do this but um this one the replacement trigger catch has just an angle and this one's a curve I don't know if it does anything important um but it feels pretty sturdy and it should work just fine um <clears throat> so we're gonna put that in last actually we're gonna leave that alone for right now but uh, we're gonna take the stock trigger catch out Next, you want to take the entire bolt sled assembly out because we're going to be working with this part right here. And um, as you can see, I've used uh, Loctite epoxy for metal to kind of strengthen the bolt sled, and it's done a good job. Like, I found that this actually works quite well for the spring loads that I use. So, yeah. Um, let me see if there's any stress marks. There don't appear to any, be any stress marks on these, uh, on this retention cap. But we're going to go ahead and replace it anyways. So let's move this back. And what we're going to do is we're going to unscrew these screws. These little screws right here. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
and we're gonna make sure that you don't make sure that you don't lose these screws. Do not, I repeat, do not lose these screws, because uh, they're very hard to come by, um, and we'll be needing them for when we put on the replacement retention cap. All right. Now you can take the entire plunger part out of the blaster if it will come out. There we go. And as you can see, my particular plunger is covered in lithium grease. Um, I might swap that out for some silicone grease from Orange Mod Works. But um, I believe I have a, long, a stock long shot spring on here, a long strike spring, and some sort of... I'm not even sure what that smaller spring is that's like really tight around the plunger rod. But uh, that's my spring setup right now. And it's probably less than 5 kilograms right now. So um, I'm going to clean this up real quick and then take it apart and show you how to replace the spring. Alright, so um, now that I've cleaned this all up, uh, I believe that I've used a uh, spare o-ring from the Remedy Metal Kit that I got for my uh, Genesis, my very first long shot. Um, and th this o-ring has worked incredibly well. It's a little bit thicker, so, um, it adds a little bit more friction, but the upside to that is that it gives you a damn near perfect seal. So there's a big Phillips head screw in the middle there. If you've never taken a long shot apart before, this is your first time. Um, there usually isn't this foam stuff here. Uh, this is foam backing rod, half inch foam backing rod, and I've hot glued a bunch of it, uh, to the plunger head to provide some padding and so yeah that's what I do for that and it works really well I might replace that at some point the next time I take this apart but for now <clears throat> excuse me for now we are going to leave it as is alright so what you're going to do is take everything off and the only thing you're gonna have left is the stock plunger rod so we got our spring over here we got our replacement retention cap we're gonna slide that right on um, sorry, I bumped the camera a little bit. <clears throat> and that's a very tight fit. There we go, it's starting to loosen up. Yeah, it should be fine. Next, we're going to put on our spring. I swear this is not 5 kilograms. There's no way that this is a 5 kilogram spring. Alright, here's the thing that's really important. Um, there are these little slots that meet up with these little tiny things that jut out on the top of the let me see if I can fix the focus real quick because I really want you guys to see this there we go alright so if you've never worked with a long shot before there are these little slots that go into these little peg areas not pegs but I don't know the word for it and you it's like a uh, it fits in, in a very specific way so you gotta make sure that they line up so here we go I think that's good. All right. Now it's a little bit difficult with the foam padding that I have on it, <clears throat> but once you get the hang of it, it should work out. There we go. to make sure they fit into the grooves nicely because what happens is if you don't put them in the grooves properly if you don't put the uh, plunger head on the grooves properly um, it makes it like a quarter of an inch longer and then um, that kind of disrupts your loading ability so yeah so now that we have that all right, yeah that I'm willing to bet that that's eight there's there's no way that this is a five kilogram spring, but that's just me. I'm not gonna complain though because the the more power the better. So yeah. All right. So the next step, of course, is if you have some silicone grease. If you've ordered anything else from Orange Mod Works, you'll probably get a tube of silicone grease. I love this stuff. Um, so the next step is we're going to add a healthy coating of grease to the O-ring because nothing helps a seal like some silicone grease. All right. And that that will last a really long time so yeah 
So now we grab the rest of our plunger assembly, our, our breech, and we slide that thing right back in. And be sure to like move it around a few times because that distributes the grease and um, doesn't look suggestive at all. So yeah, so as you can see, there are two of these holes for screws and they match up perfectly with the screw posts in the plunger tube. So next we're going to take those silver screws that I told you guys to hold on to and we're going to reinsert them into our retention cap and I'm finding that it's slightly difficult. You might have to, there we go, screw it in a little bit before you can actually screw it in to the post all the way but it doesn't seem to be giving me too much trouble so that's good be sure not to over tighten it as soon as it gets tight just give it a little tiny more turn and then leave it because you don't want to over tighten the moment you over tighten is when you start to crack and that can be disastrous <clears throat> granted if you do break anything in an unreasonable amount of time. Orange Modworks is actually pretty cool about replacing your broken parts. I um I think I broke a uh whoops. I broke a <clears throat> excuse me while I retrieve this screw wherever it may have fallen. I believe I broke a, a plunger for a an Alpha Trooper massacre kit. And they sent me a new one without, you know, they're just like, hey, take a picture of it. And I did, and I sent it to them, and they sent me a replacement. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to go snag that screw real quick, and then I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. problem with having a uh, white carpet in your basement is that uh, anything not black, specifically anything of a lighter color, does not tend to show up too well. This screw is seriously giving me trouble, though. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Alright guys, so the second screw gave me a little bit of trouble, and you have to be very, very careful. Um, if you are even slightly off on the angle, you'll basically re-thread the whole thing and pierce through the side, and that's almost what happened. I don't know if you can see, I, don't, I can't really zoom in any more than that. Let me see this actually. There we go. See that? That was the screw almost coming through. So um, you have to be very careful, and that, that starts to happen. What I actually did was, um, as I was screwing in, I used my finger and like pushed it up so that it actually pushed the angle of the screw downward, and that pretty much solved it. But um, <clears throat> that worries me a little bit, but it should be should be okay. Um, yeah, that is. The, m the more I say this, the more I'm convinced that this is an 8 kilogram. Because <sighs> it's way, way, way harder than a 5. So yeah, that is all you need to do for the plunger assembly. And then basically, for, <laughs> for this part, this is real simple. All you do is, let's see if I can move this without knocking anything over. There we go. Let me adjust my focus. There we go. You take your replacement trigger catch. Got that. You take one of these double strength trigger catch springs. If I can get it out of the bag. You place the trigger catch spring on the trigger catch. It's all very complicated. And then you place the trigger catch into the long shot. And that's basically it. And there you have it. Ta-da. Alright, and now all you have to do is put your plunger assembly back in your long shot, which I usually do by sliding in the front part of the breech first, lifting up the receiving end of the bolt, the breech I mean, excuse me, and then working my way backwards, making sure that the angle of your plunger tube is correct. Perfecto mundo, I believe. 
All right, and now you can put your long shot back together, which I will do off camera because it's a pain in the butt with the Magnus internals. But yeah, guys, that's all you need to do, and then I will do a review of how it performs. All right, guys, so after a lot of work, I finally have my long shot back together. No fault of the mod kit. It is just the way that um, I've integrated the Magnus. The Magnus is the internals are on the opposite side that the long shot internals are on, and trying to put it back together is just a nightmare. So, uh, yeah, so that took forever. Um, but it's all back together now and everything works, and um, I managed to scrounge up four elite darts and a very, very old six clip. All my other clips are at school right now, but uh, we're just gonna go ahead and try these out. Um, so priming it is, ugh. All right, here's the deal with this. Uh, for whatever reason, the prime doesn't, it isn't smooth. I mean, the actual motion is smooth just because I've lubricated the internals. But for whatever reason, um, it's not the smoothest when it clicks into place. However, um, and I will stress this, is that you can beat the crap out of this. And that thing is not going to fire. That's very strong. It's not going to fire unless you pull the trigger. And let me back up a bit and just fire. And it is very powerful. And every now and then you'll get a very smooth prime. But, I mean, oh, wow. Like, it, it definitely has some force. But that is my big problem with it is that the... Uh, you see that? Like, that, that sucks. Um... And I guess, like, the solution to that would just be to prime fast, I guess? I mean, if you play around with how much pressure you're putting on each side of the bolt, sometimes helps. But, I don't know, I mean, there we go. Like, you gotta do it fast and you gotta not be afraid to, to really, you know, muscle it around. Um, that's my only real criticism of it. If you're looking for a quick drop-in component to upgrade the power, I mean, this kit is it. However, you're going to have to deal with a rougher prime. And that, I like, ugh, that bugs me. That really bugs me because I really want to like this. And I love the spring strength. Like, it's really powerful. But that, that clicking, like, the, ugh, I mean, firing is smooth. It's just, that is the only part. Like, right here. Ugh, it's just, ugh. It's so much smoother with the stock's catch, and I don't know why that is. But anyways, yeah, I mean, if you want to buy this, go ahead. I um, I highly recommend their springs, absolutely. Um, this is definitely an 8 kilogram spring. Um, I'm I'm 90% sure that this is 8 kilograms and not 5. Uh, <coughs> so that is fine. That, that'll be great for me. But, I mean, ah, it just bugs me. That bugs me so much, but I mean, whatever. I'm just, you know, I'm I'm going to run with it for a while and and cycle through a lot of ammo and just see if that if it holds up like that. It might break in, hopefully not break, but it might. Uh, because I really don't want to go back into this long shot again for a while. But uh, hopefully it'll it'll break in and and start operating a little smoother. But like sometimes you'll just go to prime it and it won't. Uh, won't prime at all. You gotta really be fast about it. And I mean, when you're nerfing, I mean, you're going to be fast about it, but whatever. Anyways, yeah, I'll give this, uh, as far as a, a grade goes, I'd say this is a 85 right now because um, all the components work well. I love the uh, end cap, although you gotta really be careful with those screws because you're going to have to thread um, with the screws, you're going to have to thread the holes in the end cap yourself. So be careful about the angle and try not to mess up your plunger tubes. So yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm Jay. Remember, if you like what you see, please subscribe. Also, mod at your own risk. Mod can potentially damage the internals of blaster. Um, and yeah, so don't blame me if anything breaks. Also, if you want to check out Orange Modworks, I recommend the majority of their stuff, actually. I mean, I love their stuff. This is just not the best for me. I'm not happy with 
the prime, but I'm happy. I'm very happy with the spring. I'm very happy with the spring. I'm getting much more than I than was advertised. So yeah. Um. So I'll post the link to Orange Mobworks in the description below. Um. Also check out my Facebook page. I have a Facebook page. Uh. Just search J Nerf and you'll find me. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you later.